Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my twins, Geminis. I am talking to each and every one of you. Geminis, let's get right into your general reading. Let me move these cards around here. I know you all see these kind of, these cards kind of popping up. These are the oracle cards I had over here, so you can probably see it just kind of just popping up a little bit. Yeah, let's get right into your reading, Geminis. Let's get into your reading. By now, you know who I'm talking to. I am talking to my adaptable, curious, affectionate, gentle, outgoing, funny, enthusiastic, very smart, versatile, flexible twins, Geminis. I am talking to each and every one of you. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you, Geminis. I see somebody being very, very happy, feeling organized and free, Geminis. Again, this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you, Geminis. If you're interested in a personal reading, please, my information is down below, along with my knowledge channel is down below. We have the Eight of Wands. Yes, things are moving very quickly for you all. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the World card. Somebody's focus is changing drastically and very, very rapidly. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Hierophant card. Somebody is feeling very, very happy very very happy somebody is really focused on this higher farm card is attached to um an organization like your job this world card is attached to the planet saturn so you're focusing on your duties your responsibilities right now somebody is very happy at work because you've been putting in the energy work right seven this is about your lightning instincts you're like okay i, I, I i'm I'm focused now, right? The information is coming to me that I need to focus on my long-term goals, my dreams, and my ambitions. Matter of fact, you're feeling like I have a duty and responsibility to focus on my long-term dreams, goals, and ambitions. So some of you all have created a vision board, and I'm telling you things are coming together quite nicely, very, very quickly, right? Some of you all may have felt in bondage in the past, but you're not going to be feeling like that soon. If, you, if it has already happened that you removed yourself, like somebody removed the shackles off their feet, somebody removed, you know, themselves from bondage. They don't feel restricted anymore. And guess what you, you, you've had all around you? Your ancestors. Your ancestor says you need to balance it out. What are, you, what are you going to choose now? now? Now that you're headed towards this full moon, you wrote out your intentions. You said, okay, what's stopping me from living my ideal life? And so was it you that was stopping you from living your ideal life? Yes. For some of you, all it was. Somebody was not really investing in their spiritual growth like they could have been. But now that you are, somebody is feeling a thousand percent better. Like I said, feeling a lot more organized, happier, freer. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it. Let's keep it moving. Somebody mended their own broken heart. Love it, love it, love it. Geminis. Yes. By now you all know on the Knowledge Channel, I'm going to walk through each and every one of these tarot cards in depth. And I'm going to tell you exactly what each one of these cards mean. It is not a tarot card class <laughs> that I'm teaching. You know, that's very, very separate. So sometimes when people see the cards, they want to know what it means, right? So when I lay these cards out, I'm telling you the whole story, like what I'm seeing as it relates to this spread of cards for you. This page of wands right here lets me know that somebody is, because you've gotten really, really focused and because you're focused on your long-term goals and but just like somebody just said, okay, I, I need to hit a reset button, right? That new moon energy, I'm going to set my intentions. I'm going to plant my seeds. I'm going to water those seeds. I'm going to be very careful about who I share my information with. And look... And so now you're feeling rejuvenated again. Yes. Yes. Somebody's feeling rejuvenated. I also sense that somebody has gotten some really good sleep too. This is what you're protecting. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your energy. Yes, I love it. You love deep. You love hard. You know, and so you're protecting your heart and you remember who you are. You got that solar plexus chakra back in alignment. Again, this lightning bolt of energy reminded you real quick. There was a fire in you. I need to start moving from my core. I'm sitting there and I'm, I got my eyes closed. I'm envisioning myself exactly where I want to be. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I feel organized. Everything feels in alignment. I feel free. Yeah, I'm generous and trustworthy. Yep. I love it, love it, love it. We also have the Three of Cups. Somebody is in a posture of gratitude right now. Again, this number three lets me know that somebody's looking back at their past. They're pulling information from past and saying best practices moving forward. Yes, I got this thing together now. I got it now. Focus. I'm focused, focused. This sun card lets me know that somebody's been outside grounding, removing all that stale energy. This is about, this whole reading right here for you is about refocus. I mean, it's a strong refocus. I've ascended higher. I'm seeing things from a higher perspective now. 
I had to go deeper to go higher. You know, I'm not harshly judging myself, but I had to like take a real hard look at myself and see what do I need to get rid of in order to have the life that I want, right? One, I need to mend my own broken heart. See, from a distance, it looks like a heart cracked into three spaces, right? Again, you take it from your past to three. You're taking from your past and figuring out what do I need to do? I need to cry out to my ancestors with this suit. This, here they are. They, right, they came right to your rescue. Yes, they came to your rescue. Gemini. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's pull, let's pull another card and then we're going to get these oracle cards and we're going to close this reading out for somebody. I love it, love it, love it. We're going to close this reading out for somebody. Okay, King of Pentacles. Yes, money is very, very, very attracted to you. It's very attracted to you. Like I said, you've been putting in the work. This is a person who knows that they need to, they deserve to be wealthy in all areas of their life. They know that they deserve to, they deserve abundance, whatever abundance looks like for you, prosperous in your wallet, prosperous in happiness, prosperous in health. You know, so you're taking your rightful place. You know, you deserve to sit on that throne. I love it, love it, love it. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Prosperity lies ahead. I love it, love it, love it. So, yes, and there's that Taurus card again. I'm going to put this right here. Taurus card again. You you deserve, you deserve. feel like I deserve to be prosperous. I, I deserve prosperity. And here it is, that bull energy. I'm not stopping. I'm not. I'm not wavering. I'm not. I'm not moving until I, you know, acquire wealth. And wealth looks like, you know, prosperity. It looks like wealth and health. You know, a person who is uh, taking because they want to live a long and healthy life, right? This is what somebody is focusing on: their prosperity. Yep. Abundance planning. There's abundance all over this reading for you because you're at a higher frequency and you're seeing the big picture here. That is what I have for you, Geminis. Have a great one. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.